Welcome back to my online video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should know how to insert windows in a drawing. Uh, this is pretty simple for article architecture. It is somewhat, it, well, it is using standard AutoCAD. As um, these windows are, they are pretty much intelligent features. They are 3D objects. To insert a window in a drawing, that can be done one of two ways. You can click on the window window here. Click on the window here, and this will bring up a, a properties palette. From here, you can modify the window. So here, we have some very important information here which you will need to adjust. This, this indicates the, the dimension for the, for the window. So this is the, the standard size. You can change the width of the window. Say, for example, you want your window to be 1,500, uh, 900, 1,200, 1,000. So this width currently is 1,200, which is four feet. That is good. Height is also four feet. That is good. All right. So I will not change anything there for that one. You can determine if a window open partially or full. This determines um if the measurement is taken from the outside of the framing or inside. Down here, we have some other important things that you need to be aware of. Here, you can determine where, how the window is positioned, all right? So here you can indicate if you want the window to, to align between in the center of both walls. Say for example here, if you want the windows to, to, to drop in the center right here, you would then click offset center, offset center. So you'll click that. Or if you want unconstrained, what unconstrained does, it allow you to, to, um, to insert the window at a random point, or you can indicate, uh, indicate the distance from each wall or each end or each or, or the center. So this unconstrained allow, allows for some amount of flexibility. Center justification is pretty much is where it's aligned in the center of a wall. Um, sill, sill height, vertical alignment. Um, this determines how high the window is from the floor level. Yeah, the sill height, this determines the distance from the floor to the lower to the lower part of the window. The head height, this determines the distance from the finished floor to the top of the window, to the top of the window. Let me use annotation to explain. So this is the window. So this is a wall. And you're inserting a window here. The sill height is the distance from the finished floor to here. Here is the sill height. The sill height this is this one. The sill height. The head height is the distance from here to down here. So what you find is that the head height will varies. It, 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 it is relative to the sill height and the height of the window. So the sill height and the height of the window will determine the head height. All right, so it is important to know that if you click offset, you'll also need to set this to zero automatic offset you could um determine a distance that the window snaps in like for example at each corner but for this i want center so i would work with center right so once i've done that i now need to click onto the wall that i want the window to fall in and i want this to be right here so i click that there to accept that i would like a window here so i click here 
to accept that. Um, you will realize that uh, here, you'll realize that um, there's a box, a blue box right here, which indicates some distance. I can deter, I can, I can override the center, the center, the center measurement by typing a value there. I click there to get that in that. Click there to have that there. I can go ahead and click to drop my windows in. I could have one there, one there as well. Could have one here. Yes. It is important to note that you place the window at the location where you don't want it. You can always go back and change it. Uh, you could also increase the increase the length of the window. Say, for example, I want this window to be a bit larger. I could click click here, and you will you will see that green box there, that twelve hundred. I could all I could I could override the original value by typing one five zero zero. Enter. One five zero zero enter, and that now it changes the length from twelve hundred to fifteen hundred. Um, I could let's move this one to to here. Well, I want to move. I want to move this 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 window. I would click and grand drag the middle mouse and drop that right there. This is a this is a bathroom. And in this case, I would want a smaller size window. So I, I can always manipulate the size of the window by first left clicking onto the window. Yeah. Then click on this. And uh, you will notice that 1200 is highlighted. I could change that to three or 600. 600, enter. And the window has now been adjusted to 600. I can then move it back to the center. Escape. So I just changed my window from whatever it was, 1200 to 600, which is consistent with the bathroom window. All right. To see how my window look, I could go to use this view cube. And we would see everything there. Let's change from wireframe to conceptual. There we go. And back to 2D wireframe. And home, top view, back to that. So that's basically how we how we um insert windows. Yeah, so you can always go into property, window property, right click, properties. And again, we can change, we can make changes here. We can change the sill height, the head height, the, the width, the height, et cetera, et cetera. We could also change the type of window. We could choose among different types of windows, all right? So that's basically all there is for, all there is for um, window, pretty much.